Welcome to our presentation for the long abstract article titled Colonoscopic 3D Reconstruction by Tubular Non-Rigid Structure for Motion. We present a method to reconstruct the analytic parameterized surface of a colon from point correspondences obtained from colonoscopic images. Broadly speaking, there are two steps involved. The first step reconstructs the 3D position of the key points using our proposed method for NRSFM with isometric constraints. And the second step fits a harmonic spline surface to these reconstructed 3D points using the assumption that the observed surface, which is the inside of a colon, is homeomorphic to a right circular cylinder in some reference frame. To compare with the state of the art, we tried out some sequences of synthetic colon-like structures, trying to reconstruct them with these methods available from the literature. State-of-the-art NRSFM methods, including these two papers, fails to convincingly reconstruct the shape of the tubular structure from image correspondences. There exist some deep learning based techniques for recovering depth of a generic scene from images. For example, this paper from Liu et al. But they suffer from a lack of domain adaptation for our particular use case of colonoscopic images and medical images in general. On the other hand, for deep learning based techniques which do work on endoscopic or medical data, as for example, this paper from Mamu data. We could not find a publicly available network to test our data on. This leads us to our proposed method of NRSFM, which is implemented in two steps. In the first step, we reconstruct the depth of the key point correspondences by computing their depth based on the distance between those points on the flattened template. This is iteratively alternated with recomputing the geodesic distances from the updated depths. These alternate computations are iteratively continued till the depth updates falls below a predefined threshold. Intuitively, this method utilizes the geodesic distance as the constraint for obtaining the maximum depth of the 3D points following the maximum depth heuristic. This is because an isometrically deforming surface, the distance between points along the surface remains preserved irrespective of the deformation. Fortunately, in the case of a cylinder, the mapping from a flattened template to the cylindrical surface is isometric and represents a ruled surface. However, as a consequence of using local neighborhood, we can relax the isometric constraint to a certain extent, leading us to a quasi-isometric model. Therefore, the final 3D deformation model does not necessarily have to be strictly isometric. Having reconstructed the 3D points, our next objective is to use the tubular topology prior, which is a canonical model of a right circular cylinder maintained at an arbitrary but predefined orientation. We project the reconstructed 3D points onto the surface of the tubular prior which can also be flattened to give us an initial estimate of the flattened template of the key points. Starting from this initial deformation, we utilize the control handles of a harmonic spline as the parameters for a nonlinear least squares optimization to minimize a point to plane distance between the reconstructed features and the deformed template, along with a regularizer based on the bending energy of the spline. Specifically, a levenberg markov based solution with fully analytic gradients are utilized for this minimization. We simulated two synthetic sequences using the Blender software and tested it with our proposed approach. We also compared the results of these three papers the state-of-the-art approaches 
fail to recover the cylindrical shape of the template. Instead, recovering a somewhat flattened, planar shape, which is not the actual shape of the synthetic objects used. Our proposed approach performed over 65% better than the comparable state-of-the-art approaches on an average in terms of root mean square error. We also obtained a real colonoscopic data from the database provided to us by University College London. We manually annotated 50 feature points across the sequence and used it for the reconstruction. Shown here on the right is a sample output of this reconstruction process shown for one representative frame. To conclude, we have presented a new technique for NRSFM on colonoscopic data using a weak tubular prior. The proposed approach has produced promising initial results and have been demonstrated to be better than comparable state-of-the-art techniques in reconstructing structures of cylindrical topology. However, more extensive tests at addressing challenging scenarios in colonoscopy remains an important future work. We thank you for your time and please feel free to contact us for any further questions or comments.